When money's tight, many people look for a loan, but banks are saying no to more and more applicants in 2011 if you don't have very good credit. So more and more of us are looking for other lenders, and unfortunately, that's where you can get into trouble. Denise Thomas, like so many families these days, is strapped for cash. I wanted to consolidate my, my bills. So when she saw a newspaper ad for Invesco Lending, supposedly on 3rd Avenue in New York City, she decided to give it a try. After all, she knew the Denver Broncos played in Invesco Field, so she was thrilled to get this letter offering her a $10,000 loan despite a steep upfront fee. She told me I had to pay $1,265 in insurance premium. To get the... $10,000 loan. Yes. But Denise scrapped up all her cash, borrowed from her family, and headed to Western Union to wire the money as instructed. She gave me a name of Gabriel Meyer. Gabriel Miles. She gave me his address and he was in Ontario, Canada. She wired $515, then a second amount of $595 to Canada. But when she called to ask if the loan was on its way, she said the rep told her she'd have to wire another $500 brokerage fee. That's when she became suspicious, called the police and me. Authorities say it's not connected with Invesco Field or Invesco Mutual Fund and may instead be an advance fee loan scam based in Canada. Denise wishes she had seen the red flags earlier. If somebody has you for some money up front, just don't do it. So don't let this happen to you. Never wire money by Western Union or similar services to collect a loan, lottery, or sweepstakes. Legitimate companies do not ask you to wire cash up front. So don't do it and don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.